Hello. Happy Friday. It's that time again. Let me see. If I can just pull up the game immediately. Do you hear this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. No! 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 Oh. Oh. Oh! No! Okay. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, the thing is, is that... Uh, I just, I just looked at it too. Oh! It said before you could launch, there was an issue when I was playing the game, right? And, uh, it did save. I saved it. And then it was like, hey, you gotta pick. Do you want a cloud save or a local save? And I, I picked... I should have picked the local save. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I'm going to eat my fist. No way. No way. No way! Oh! <laughs> what? Pain. Pain. I can't believe we're doing this again. Lesson learned, I guess? Local save only? You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh darn it. Well, alright. You know what? At least... Do you think we could speedrun this? <laughs> I don't know. Is there a, a fast forward in this? I think there is, right? There has to be. Good luck. I... I'm so unhappy, but you know what? You know what? This might be a good thing. Because the first time that we streamed this... I also completely lied on my pillow fort post, but anyway. The first time we played this... I couldn't even save the VOD because... I was... I didn't tick the box to make it the sound to stay on the VOD. <laughs> so, uh... Maybe, you know, this is like in its in, in its own way a, a, a saving. You know, I'm just I'm just saying whatever I want to say. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I'm an idioto. Fast forward. How do I fast forward? I can't believe this. Oh. Same, Phoenix. Same. Can't run forever. Mr. Rye Porcupino. You've, you've done it now. You've lost all of your, your progress and now you have to play- I should just play Trials and Tribulations now. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh! I'm- I'm hurting! I'm hurting. I'm in pain. I, I'm just gonna play the entire game with a sad face today. Oh, I can't believe I did this to myself. I'm not even gonna read. Which is <laughs> probably not a good thing. What a nightmare! Blah, 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 blah. We've already done this, but we're going through this again. And then we get bent by a, a crook with a, with a fire hydrant. Nothing personal, Mr. Attorney. I can't believe this. I am so mad at myself right now. I should have gone to local save. Alright, so recap. I've been through this before, but we're, we're going through it again because I'm an idioto. 
Phoenix lost his memory. He doesn't remember anything. This is... I don't even remember her name. What's her name? Maggie. Maggie something other. Bird. Maggie Bird. And we are ace attorneying our way through the justice system because we... That's what we do. Please, please, please. Can I... No? Okay. Is, is there a fast forward button? There is no fast forward button. Alright. I'm just gonna keep hitting A. Because we are really in it now. <laughs> oh! Gotta spam the A button. Yeah, at this point, we're just speed running, Phoenix Wright. Is this a thing? Yeah, this is a bad dream, Phoenix. This is, this is like... Streamer... Mistake... Five bajillion. Yes, I'm ready. I, I'm totally ready. I'm so ready. I was so ready before! <laughs> and now I'm just sad. Oh man, I should have just checked this before, like at least an hour before, but I was working. Shucks. I will eat. Oh, okay. Let me, let me recap here. So this dude dies, right? Somebody finds him at the bottom and they call 911 being like, oh my god, he's super dead. And it's a policeman. That's what they're talking about. And she's just like, here dude, let me help you out. Let me help you out. What was the piece of evidence of glasses? Even though I didn't check, but I just know it's like I'm psychic or something. <laughs> oh. All right, decisive evidence. What are you? What do you got for me? Oh right, he wrote down the name. It's over. It's over for Maggie. There's no way. You cannot argue that they wrote the name. Cross-examination time! Our first cross-examination! Let's go! I feel bad. People will be walking in here being like, What is she doing? She's not even reading. We've been through this! We've been through this! I'm literally giving a recap of everything that didn't save in a VOD. There's something more incriminating. Blah 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 blah. I managed to write the name. It clearly says Maggie. Wait. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go back. Oh, that present evidence. You didn't see this last time. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Let's go, Phoenix, right? Pre uh, uh, present your evidence. Which one is it? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Please. Did it feel good, Phoenix? Even though you lost your memory? I'm gonna try to speed run this case within 30 minutes. I can do that. But... The build-up for the next case took forever! <laughs> it took so long! Anyway, Maggie is not the killer. Clearly there was some bad guy that did it, but who did it? I wonder if it was the guy that knocked us out. <laughs> but the question is, when does he come into the picture? Come on, gumshoe. 
What else do you got for me? Talking about other people's love lives now? I didn't actually read any of that. <laughs> oh geez, spoilers. <laughs> I... I'm sorry. I think I'm just mad right now that I didn't save. They've been dating for half a year. They were gonna get married, which isn't true. Happened to be the victim's a birthday, a present, something she bought two months ago. What type of present? Whoa, wait a second. You're outing the fact that I have a massive old crush on this chick? What did you get her? What did she get? What was the birthday present? Okay, thank you. That's all I need. Press further. I need my bananas. <laughs> How did you know? How did you know it was bananas? Of course it's irrelevant. Give me my bananas. I am in pain. I feel like I'm having amnesia. I should have amnesia. Look, we got bananas. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, 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 yada. Alright, next. Riding on the ground. I, I, I'm like totally destroying this. The build up, it's, it's lost here. <laughs> Looked into the handwriting. It was. We couldn't. We took the pointer finger. Scratches. Nah, brother. Check this out. <laughs> Bananas. Yeah, I guess the gloves. You know what, while we're going through this, I thought about it. I should- I, I've been thinking about getting Lasix, guys. I know it's a lot of money, but I think it'll be a good investment. Like, at least 98 98% of cases do pretty well with Lasix, and I'm really blind. So I'm thinking maybe next month I'll, I'll get my eyes checked, see if they are pretty solid. And then from there, if they're pretty consistent from the last few years previous, then- or not few years, the previous years that I got it checked, then maybe I'd be viable to get it. Give me a few more minutes, I'm not ready. Who would like to call her next witness to the stand? I, I imagine pain with a squirrely voice, like annoying, because because you've heard how, how he says objection, right? Objection! I think he has that type of voice. We will hear from the new witness. It's time. Time to destroy this dude. Oh, to be continued. I saved. I saved and it was all gone. <gasps> Look, guys, see? See that? Saved. <laughs> but I should have done local. Feeling like an idiot again. Uh... Come on, Phoenix. Right, we got our, our our phone number on the back of our card. I, I'm curious if I'll remember. I remember that first part pretty well. Thank you, been looking for my phone. We'll get it back to you. My name's Maggie. showed up. 
Maya. Good to see you, girly. Good morning, Maggie. And then she gives us a list of like con artists. So those are the two new pieces of evidence. Our business card with our number in the back and a, a random number a random assortment of con artists that was found on a phone. Any phone. Somebody's phone. Good lord, I can't A through his thing! I'm pressing A faster than he speaks at this point. We would- we would go through his dialogue if he'd let me press A. I saw that day. Blah, 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 blah. You saw nothing because you were blind. And you also saw bananas. Boy, panic. You have bad eyesight. No! Let me press A! You know, like, I, I, the meltdowns for these dudes, they sometimes scare me. Like, this guy is gonna choke himself out. <laughs> he, he's going to die. I forgot, do I have to press here? I feel like- I feel like this is one of those that I have to press. What happened next? Realize it was from there, called the release. Then 6.45 when I made the call. Is it this one? Hold up. Immediately as in. So immediately am I- I made sure uh, a minute might have lapsed. For the court record. Maya, are you telling me what to do? Do I present it here? I think I present it here. Okay. Yeah, what'd you do in those 15 minutes? Huh? Did you... Did you, like, murder someone? <laughs> you know what I want to do, too? I think it would be nice. I, I want to watch the stage plays for Phoenix Wright. I've seen several clips from the stage play. Honestly, it looks very fun. 
and they nailed the characters with what clips I've seen. Question further. Always question it. Where's your cell phone? there. There is something. How dare you! He didn't need to look for a phone. You know why? I really forgot. Hold up. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Check this out. Take that! Brother, what are you going to do? There was a phone booth right here. Can you offer an explanation? I have an idea. Penalized. I already forgot what this one is. Please present to the uh, to the court. Why didn't the witness? I think it's this one. It is. Oh baby, man. Never mind. My memory is still intact. I still have good memory. I for for the most part. Rabble, 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 rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. Ooh. Ooh, it's over, Wellington. The music kicked in. The name of Victor Rowe, what about that? Maggie, yeah. Does that mean the real criminer, cr criminer? criminal? Criminal? Is there a way this creep? There was a way. There's always a way. Is it the phone? Let me skip through this. <laughs> How is it that nobody saw him? Like, put, uh, right with the body? Like, what if, at least within those 15 minutes? I guess it is kind of at the dead of night. Well, it's like six. Motive. Okay. I would think within those 15 minutes, other people walking in the park would have seen him. I guess he just got lucky. But then it makes me confused because the picture actually has like people looking over the edge. Being, oh my god, that person's dead. Remember. Rabble, 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 rabble. Attention. 
ooh, you know, the, 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 the way that they had like the cuts there in the background like that? I think this is the first time of this series that they started doing that. I do not remember that in the first game. And I remember when I was playing through this game the first time, the very, very first time, I kind of got freaked out when they would do their breakdowns. It's just so overwhelming. So overwhelming. Rabble, 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 rabble. This guy is really creeping me out. That's right, Maya. Making me do both of these. Boo! Boo! Now he's like, I wiped all the numbers off my phone. There's no way you can prove it. Has anybody done jury duty in here? I have yet to do jury duty. Like, I've lucked out so far. But, I'm just thinking to myself, if I watched a case like this. Honestly, this is pretty mid. It's still Mordor, but. I don't know, if, if some dude was like breaking down like that and, uh, and I was in the jury... And then, I'm not sure why it never occurred to me, but if you were picked for jury duty... And the court case that you are appointed to is having to continue... Then you would- you would- have to go and attend the next hearings. So in my head I'm like, what if what if you're like me, a nurse, and it gets scheduled multiple days on the days you're working and you only have so many days given for jury duty, this the, the company would still have to give it to you, right? So let's just say you have to go to like five more different hearings. They would still have to cover for the days you're gone, right? I don't know, it just never occurred to me that if there's multiple hearings, you're pretty much gone. I wasn't paying attention. I hope that's the right one. Thank you, Judge. I wanna read... No, 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 no. I wanna read your... I didn't get to read it last time. It's fancy. Written in fancy script, the ink is strong and clear, but I still can't read it. Oh. I want this ringtone.
Yay! That took roughly like 20 minutes. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Anyway, I can't imagine actually speed running a visual novel. What? What do you gain from that? The whole entire point is to simmer yourself in the visual novel. Get yourself involved, invested, understanding the characters and letting that marinate. The exact opposite of what we're doing here. But it's because we've already gone through this and let it marinate before. It's like we're eating leftovers. The exact same leftovers. Except he doesn't remember Max Payne. Let's go get some burgers. Alright, episode one done. Congratulations, we did it. Now we're gonna speed run through the <laughs> Oh! Come on. Can't believe this. Can't believe this. Alright, we're gonna try to speed run through this part, which is just getting all the information. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? Any. I finally get to see you again, Anne. It's not your fault you didn't do it. No, I did it. I killed that person. That wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I can't believe Maya murdered another person again. Okay, so I will give a short, like, rundown of everything that I'm speeding through. I don't remember this guy's name, but he just basically comes in saying, Hey, I'm this dude, Gray. And I was a doctor who worked at a hospital where malpractice was happening, and I completely blame it on this nurse. The nurse is the reason why this malpractice was happening. So, because she was a horrible nurse, and decided to commit- well, not commit- decided to just die in a fatal car crash. Or she ended up dying in a fatal car crash. That now he is dumped with all the responsibility. So what he wants to do is go to Maya. He plans to go to Maya. So that way she could channel the dead spirit of the, the nurse. To make her have a statement saying, I did it. That was my fault. And you are completely clear of it, doctor. Because you are an amazing doctor who completely knows what they're doing. And it was my bad. Anyway, I hate this character. <laughs> I I do not care for him and his end, I suppose. So totally deserve to die. Yeah. Now we're in Kareen Village. Curly. Our other daughter. And then we say hi to Maya. Maya's like, oh, look at this. My first channeling. I don't know if we learn anything from here. I'm just gonna skip the examinations because I've done all of those. 
how's today's channeling? Aren't you excited that it's your first time? And then she read the tabloids about what's going on with this malpractice thing. So she did her reading on the doctor. Medium Valley. Pretty much talking about the village. Curly! So, Pearly is her cousin, pretty much in another branch of the family. Maya's... Maya's mom has a sister, which is the auntie to Maya, and is Pearly's mother. This guy has nothing to talk about but the weather. I'm gonna have her write a signed confession. I don't even know if this'll work. One year ago on May 2nd. Ooh, that's too soon. 14 patients died due my ne to my negligence. And then May 24th, I fell asleep at the... W how would you prove that they wrote that? Like, how, how would you even use that as evidence, dude? It's already over. It was your fault. <laughs> you made those orders. She just followed through. And you overworked her. This is sick. And then this is... What's her name? Morgan. Morgan Fay. I wonder... If the characters on her outfit actually say something? Or is it just random... random stuff. Because I don't recognize the characters. Maybe some of the simple ones, but I don't know what it means. Especially, like, all together like that. This is gonna bite me in the butt, by the way, going through all of this, but I think I remember a good chunk. So pretty much she's just explaining how she's related to Maya, and how Pearly, how she's so proud of Pearly, and how we also cannot be present during the channeling. Okay, let's move out. Let's go out here. And I don't think there's anything here yet. Okay. So, we go back. Oh, look, it's my favorite. Hey, you! Hold on now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. Oh, well, I'll be. It's Mr. Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't seen you in, what, a year? Like two last week. You are... Who are you again? Sorry. Who are you again? Oh, lordy. I've met some cold day, cold men in my days, but you... You're in an icebox of your own. Come on, am I really that bad? Hurt you noggin. Put your noggin to some use. You gotta remember who I am. It was a cause... It was cause of my testimony that your friend got out of being guilty. Oh, A lot of hair. <laughs> You're the one for that trial. See, I knew you could remember if you tried. You were working with the prosecution prosecution at first. And then came to us once you, uh, as if we were a piece of sirloin steak. Why don't we let bygones be bygones now? It's yesterday's news, right? Name's a lot of hard. Don't you go forgetting it, you hear? Mm, so what brings you here? <laughs> you should already know. I'm here for the big scoop. I can feel it. So you're still a photographer. You betcha. The hardest working one out there, I reckon. Then I say I was gonna make a name for myself as a famous paranormal photographer. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting. The channeling's about to get started. Is it that time ready? We all should hurry. What are you waiting for? Come on. I'm gonna I'm gonna nail 
that country accent one day. It's gonna happen. I I need more of that southern drawl. Oh, shut up. Get in there. One of a kind. Wink wonk. Even though it was kind of unclear. Kind of unclear, but wink wonk. Hold on now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. Dang. What are you? This is Korean Village. If you cannot follow the traditions or rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Now then, let us wait. I'm gonna take a drink of water too. Uh oh. What drama is happening? Hey now. What was that just now? Came from inside the channeling chamber. Hey, that's a gunshot! Excuse me? I heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bet my afro on it. Maya. Maya's in there. Break into Break into the chamber. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're going to break in. What? But but there's only one key and that kid's got it. We could either break it. Is that alright? There is one for that matter. Don't try to stop me. You could send me a bill later. Yeah, that's what I call being a man. Get in there. He's dead. Yay! I mean... Oh no. <laughs> I was mordored. That man mordored me, so I killed him. Wada! At a time like this? Times like this are perfect for snapping up shots! Anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she Maya? Step away from there, please leave this here. No, aw, girly. Okay, I guess. Let's go, city boy. Leave this to the granny. To the granny. My cell phone doesn't work, so we're using the phone booth. And they're on their way. Oh, they're on their way. That's good. Maudie. I saw a genuine, mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared. Also. Oh, so. Hey. Oh, hey, mister. That gal, Maya. She wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Well... About that. I accidentally spoiled myself trying to fight with that lady's text on her kimono. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Did, okay, but do they have a meeting? Then again, weren't there only two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Lotta, what do you know about the Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That one's Jim with a bad reputation. I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheet. You haven't found it, ah. Uh, then I probably just don't look for it. <laughs> You're gonna spoil yourself more. That's the worst part. Oh, that's brutal. That sucks. He's real controlling. Soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real rough to work for him. Yeah, I imagine. I imagine so. Mr. Wright, Miss Faye, how's Mystic Maya? The severing technique was successful. The police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, you again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Business trip. No, poor Jim Shoe. Let me in. Let me in, Chief. 
Hey, you, don't touch anything. I really need to ask you some questions, though, man. About Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but with the way things look now, the girl's the only one who could have done it. But Maya's... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now I got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. He looks real professional. So, he was... got shot. Shot in the forehead. But... But he was also stabbed in the knife, or chest with the knife. A knife? Basically, the Vic was shot, was first stabbed, then he was shot. That's a tough way to go. Here you go, guys. The only other voice I could do. Like, how can I help you? Uh, I'm, uh, that is, uh, I, um, like, so isn't it about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like, the channeling. Channeling? Oh, 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 no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but there has been a murder. Um, so like, a murderer. Is that thing where like, one person kills another? Yes, a person has killed another person. People die because they are killed. Or, they are dead. What was the, the dumb line? <laughs> oh, that's a, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like totally a bummer. Yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Inny Miney. Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? Is that- is this real? Is that real? Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something. Like, supernatural phenomenon, ESP, and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. I'm Phoenix. I don't know. So what brings you here today? Um, like, so I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? Hmm. It's like, talking to dead people and like multiple personalities are my thing. I see, that's why you took a nap here. I'm like, I wasn't feeling good. I'm like allergic to sesame seeds. They like, must have put some in the food they serve for lunch. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So, I like, felt sick and came here to like, sleep. I totally feel like I've wasted my time because I like, slept a long time. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, that. I, I like, totally know nothing. So who was like, you know, killed? Uh, you know, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? Yeah, what was that response, girly? Oh, I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Huh? Well, uh, like a long, long time ago, I was like a patient, yeah. <laughs> She's crazy. All right, bye. Hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm, silent as ever. Pearly? Is it my hair? Is it not spiky enough? Whatever, Phoenix. You didn't gel your hair enough. She's probably scared out of her wits. Lotta? God, wait. God, don't let it be me next. 
Don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me. If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine. <laughs> See or notice anything that stuck out to you? Nah, well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor soul is not good at handling this kind of thing. Uh, what? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you? This is too much, I say. What is too much? Being an occult photographer? That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna try to be a celebrity photographer now. Going after photos more within your reach? More glamour, less bored. What's up? Oh, yeah! What is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Remember? I took those pictures at the murder scene inside. She did too. Seance murder. I sure like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. What up? Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat them. Oh, 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 okay. Not tackle away. Can... anything else? Oh dear madam, you have such impeccable timing. Like, what is all the buzz? <clears throat> Everyone, listen up. You too, pal. I'm gonna give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation is not gonna be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here. And then we sleep. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy it got. I was arrested, taken away, I don't see myself sleeping. It's tomorrow. <laughs> Nick! Nick! I... Maya, what am I gonna do? I never imagined it would turn out like this! Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. I can't believe you got stuck behind the, the, every, every time without fail. You just somehow get behind the bars of the detention center. I finally, I finally get to see you again and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. That wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak and I couldn't control this power, the spirit's power. So I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me, I understand. So, you are a master at this, but the mom is the leader. It gets passed on to her eventually. And we believe that it's true that they're able to channel people. Because we've seen it time and again. What happened? I went in the room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat across from him. We closed our eyes and I began channeling. It sounded kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. She loses consciousness. When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my body. Oh, sorry, clothes. But I do remember having a dream. What kind of dream? Uh, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move and it was unbearable, really suffocating. It went something like that. I... I see. I have no idea what to say to that. There was a really familiar smell too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But what's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. I was decided that yet. But I did. I killed that person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it. Help me, Nick. I'm scared. Don't worry. I will. When is the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. That's so fast. Magatama. All right, bye, girly. All right, we're gonna take that. We're gonna examine Charlie. Who's the, who's the mascot?
of the office. Now we gonna look around and actually pay attention. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Whenever they do these panning things and they're literally just standing on the other screen. I think last time I played this, Maya jump scared me. Or was it her? I feel like it was her that jump scared me last time too. Mm -mm. You freaking me out, lady. Making me scared for my life. Examine. Take a look at this first. I don't even remember. What happened here in this room after I left? Well, I struck Mystic Mai on the head to make her go unconscious. Spirit severing technique. Put the nurse's spirit back in the spirit world. Tell her though. Pearl is amazing. She should have been the one. Because she's a prodigy, is what she's basically saying. <laughs> she should be the next master, not Maya. Okay, I think we got everything there. Maybe she's at school. Oh, hey. Like, you're the guy from yesterday. The uh, dentist guy. Now I'm a lawyer. Um, Mr. Smith Esquire. That's, that's right. Wait, I mean, you're wrong. My name is Wright. Smith? Right. Well, I got like three letters at least. Anyway, why are you here? So like, I studied this thing called parapsychology at this college, and he told me about this yesterday. This is me allergy, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here. Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry, my bad. No, it's okay. Like, it's really... That's... That's it? Why, why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? Whatever one another genuine mysterious phenomenon is right here. Wait. What's this about? She's the murderer? Why? <laughs> Why are you going after the valley girl? Is it because, like, she says like so much? I really have to laugh because at some point it's gonna be me. It's not even gonna be ironic anymore. I'm gonna be saying like. I'm starting to remember. <laughs> So, why are you still here? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like, what? Like, the BM's training? Or, like, how they inherit their spiritual power? I suppose. So, like, I asked if I could stay here for, like, a little longer. She's carefree. 
we heard about the murder? It's, like, totally scary. She says with a silly smile across her own face. So do you know anything about it? That might help. Somehow, I don't think she has a grip on reality, let alone what's going on here. About the victim, Dr. Gray. I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait. I think you asked him, like, yesterday, too. And her reaction was, I'm going to rip my, my, my hat apart. With my teeth. And then go back to being a normal ditz of a valley girl. Like, is something wrong? No. Hey. You want to talk about this? Like, I'm really sorry, but I know you, like, totally had your heart set on it, but I can't, like, take it. Oh my god. Okay. Bye, girly. Wasting my time. You surprised me. And how are you today? She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Hey. You want... This? I just said to give this to you. Oh, crap. Oh. Oh, good heavens. I'll be the one they're handling next! <laughs> that's... That's Mystic Maya's... Huh? She actually spoke. Who are you? Uh, I'm Phoenix Wright. I worked with Maya. You worked with Mystic Maya? You, you're Nick, right? Mr. Nick. Uh, excuse me? I bet I know who she picked Nick from. I know who you are. You're, you're Mystic Maya's special someone. What? So then, of course, you're gonna help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're gonna do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow. It's like a beautiful fairy tale. The earnest look shining brightly in your eyes? It must be true love! What? Why am I being boiled like a bright love rub by this kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Oh, what a wonderful relationship. Wait, I, uh, I I mean, we aren't... The things aren't like... <laughs> I can tell you're a good person. Alright, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm gonna help you in any way I can. Okay. Tell me about yourself, Pearl. Are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Oh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because you're special to her. Where in the world did you get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yeah, for example, I study the crane technique. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer? Lawyer? Yep. Is that really- oh, is that related to spirit mediums in any way? Uh, none that I know of. Wait, are you gonna tell me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. So, what's that in your hands, Pearly? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Hmm? If you want it, I can give it to you. Yeah, give it to me. Alright, well, if you really want to give it to me. <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one too. Oh man, does she speak? How do- what is a refined laugh? <laughs> <laughs> the ojo Sun laugh. Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls. I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Um, are you sure it's okay for me to have this Magadama? Yeah, it's okay. I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this Magadama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy. My eyes. Oh. Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. What do you mean? I will let you see people's secrets. See people's secrets? Yeah. If it's alright with you, I would like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magathama's power to you when we meet someone who's hiding a secret. I know. I know. Who we're going for first. 
Hello again. We seem to be seeing each other a lot. Aww, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No! How old do you think I am? I want to ask you about Dr. Gray. Oh, what is that? You can see it, can you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's heart. A what? This is the power of the Magathama. Only you can see the Cyclops, Mr. Nick. Blah, blah, blah. Mr. Nick? Cyclops. The more you want, uh, someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock the how? The how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person, and let's remove the lock. I don't know, but I will try. And if you make a mistake, it will hurt you. Can you imagine all of a sudden just psychic damage out of nowhere? <laughs> The victim. Minnie Miney, I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you. Like, how many times do I have to, like, repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's your, like, proof? Well, it may not be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you indirectly know him. This. Here's your proof. Like, what is that? Oh no, I know what I forgot. No, can I just B button this? B button this. Get out of here. I forgot. There was one thing I forgot on my speed run. <laughs> oh shoot. No, no, no. Go back. I'm botching it. Go to the meditation room. Alright, gumshoe. Brother, give me this. Hey, it's that news story, the one about the malpractice suit. 14 patients died and it caused a huge stink. Things only got worse after that. Hmm, oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal, this is for you. Thank you. Now we got it. Maybe Miney. Uh, I don't really think he tells me much. I took some hot pictures. Sucks is what he basically said. Cut an article. Do you have a copy? I do. I actually went to save it to you because I'm saving. Gave it to you. Oh, that's right. That's right. We get. To, we learned that Von Karma is here. Never mind. You actually do have something important to say. A prodigy. Can you imagine going up- having a prosecutor at the tender age of 13? I'm having PTSD. Poor Phoenix. Poor Phoenix and his PTSD- wait. Do you say something about this, Pearly? Or this? Or this? Never mind. She says nothing. Nothing. Hey, girly. Listen, I have. I have. I have things and stuff for you. Alright, so what do you actually say? Mimi Miney. Miney is a pretty. Uh, it has to be... Okay, your older sister. I don't think I need to tell you that the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray, which is how you knew him, because your sister worked there. Oh, that's cool. I got my health back. Please, tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. 
My... my sister's name was Mimi Miney. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that like, Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like a total slave driver. My sis was always like, coming home totally wiped out because she was overworked. Wiped out, so that's why she fell asleep with the steering wheel. And that guy like, drove my sis so hard, so like, that's why the accident happened. The one where the 14 patients died from malpractice. Do they have a brother called Mo? <laughs> yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault too. My sis was pushed by like, everyone's expectations. And like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to the death. Pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So like, are we done? I've like, already told my story to like, everyone. Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a cyclop works. Oh, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless I absolutely need to. Well, the lock was pretty easy this time, but you might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and no one to stop. She's just basically saying, don't push it, Phoenix. Or else you're just gonna have a mind break. Okay, I think we have everything. I think this is everything. Mr. Nick? Hmm, what's wrong? I have never left Crane Village. Really? Wow, that's um pretty amazing. You're gonna meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? You saw her I said hi. Hey, wait! She ran off again. Well, I know any secret now, but I still don't know have any idea what I'm gonna say Maya. I don't even know if I should go there and uh in there with a smile or a straight face. Oh, What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time! Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, it must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice. Mia! Even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Mia. She's Maya's, Maya's older sister, and my mentor. She's super dead. Whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows, borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. You can't smile at the end if you have I haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. But, so tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. She is. I told her everything about what had happened the last two days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that is, tell me, please. Believe in your convictions and fight for the complete acquittal of your client. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Yeah? Mediums can't have dreams. They can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream that during that time. Then, what does this mean? She was literally just buried alive? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. Set up? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. Evidence? How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. It, it is? It's just as it sounds, Phoenix. You already hold the key. Really? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright, I'll show it to her, the key I hold. Quite literally, the key. Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happening in this case. This key? 
Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be a piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what that key... You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But, but... How can I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who... Who could have... I didn't know at the time. But this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. I was expecting her to have like five locks instead. What's wrong? That's right, only I can see the psych locks. Which means Mia must know something about the real murderer. For this to be something that she would hide under lock and key from me? What in the world is going on? I feel like I would be stressed. I would be stressed being able to see people's secrets. Like, if, I, if I'm if i talking to somebody and all those locks appear out of nowhere, I'd be like, what are they hiding from me? Why are they hiding so aggressively? Okay. It is 7 o'clock. Uh, I feel like I want to go until the halfway point of this and probably regret my decision later. But I, I do want to continue because this is technically where we should have started. It took me a whole entire hour and a half to get here, but hey, we're here. Um, I do want to take a quick break, though. I want to walk around, feed Butterball, probably get a snack because I'm kind of hungry again. So I will be right back after like three minutes. Give me three minutes. Three. Actually, you know what? Give me five minutes.
Okay, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. I am gonna be muted for a little bit at times. I'll, I'll make commentary here and there, but I, I, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat, so <laughs> let's, let's get into it. Oh, you're out? What? Prosecutor Von Karma, you mean? Oh, that's right. I, I can't, I can't do a German accent, guys. <laughs> what, what does a German accent sound like? I can't do that. I, I'm so bad with accents. Perfection. The long record. But he was awful. Terrible person. Out of the manor and follow the map. <laughs> She's so cute. Don't tell me you walked all the way over here. No, I ran. She's crazy. Oh man. <laughs> what time did you wake up, girly? What's a train? I give up. She's hardcore. Pearl built different. Stress. Why is he objecting us? Scorchingly fierce battle to the very end. What? What is this rough breakup that I'm having with Edgeworth? I forgot you don't know. He. He's gone. He's not coming back. What? He's dead. Wait, wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? He's... he's... oh. I can't believe Edgeworth is... is not alive. Unknown. What is with this kid? <clears throat> Mr. Wright, are you prepared? Huh? Uh, yes, your honor. He was he mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> you must be a little shocked because I'm a woman, correct? Hold on, so she's a famed successor, so she's the famed successor? I am Franziska von Karma, the prodigy. See, I gave up a promising career in Germany. I came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Revenge. Is this her father? Is this about her dad? If it's something of personal nature, I'm sure you can- Oh! I'm talk- I'm talking. <laughs> if you interrupt again, my whip will do the speaking for me. Speak with your mouth like a normal person, I beg you. Oh! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix, right? Executor Von Karma, your opening statement, please. Those of Von Karma blood have one only fate, and that is perfection. The defendant, Maya Fey, will find no escape from her guilt on my watch. Very well. What is the defense's position? Your Honor, does the defense wish to plea enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolish fool who foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before it changes its plea. 
She would be thrown out immediately. <laughs> That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. Justified self-defense? A plea usually reserved for when a person unintentionally kills in defense of themselves. We could easily uh, make a solid case that it was self-defense, but... Defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because the plea justified self-defense is to say you did kill someone. How foolish. If that's how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I shall now call the first witness. She's as scary as her father. Father like daughter, I suppose. Witness, your name and occupation. Yes, sir. My name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct. Oh! Get to the points already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, uh, if everyone would look at this map, please. The channeling chamber has no windows and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Uh, they... Well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Channeling a spirit? That's quite the look of disbelief there, Your Honor. <clears throat> anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from inside the room, sir. A few of the witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. Ah, and that's when they found the victim. The victim was already dead, correct? I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I have ever presided over. War plans. So, how was the victim killed? Uh, I was about to get to that. Stop wasting my time, then. Cause of death. The direct cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. Pistol shot to the forehead. The shot was fired from point-blank range. Before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing. Hmm. The updated autopsy report. I wonder if it would ever go like this. I don't think so. Oh, so Gray brought the gun. Now, why would he have? Why would he? Was he planning to, like, threaten the spirit? Rabble, 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 rabble. inches away. I grow tired of the foolish foolery of this foolish fools of this foolish country. <laughs> She's so funny. She needs a dictionary. <laughs> she died. But all she knows is you fool. 
foolish fool with your foolish dreams. A fruit knife? Had been a half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart. A fruit knife? After a stab, oh, I guess. It's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. Murray's a pistol to finish him off. Are you sure he was stabbed first, then shot? I have to read every line of this. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of other foolish fools. A pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantly. Does it matter then which was first? Think a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix, right? What a pain. That's enough. You clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Was Gray's two shots two shots fired? Bears Maya's and Barry's fingerprints. Two shots fired. The date and time of death was June nineteenth at three fifteen p.m. Eyewitness claims to have heard two gunshots at this time, and two murder weapons born with the defendant's fingerprints on them. Naturally. This is gonna going from bad to worse, as if the summary just now wasn't oversimplified so things to extreme. Your Honor, feel free to sign that little gavel of yours. After all, there is no room left for doubt, is there? That's quite true, Miss Wright. Yes. Even in the face of all this, do you still wish to plead not guilty? It's the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See, just as I promised Mr. Phoenix Wright, Jeffrey in less than ten minutes. What will you do? What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justified self-defense? Because now would be the time to do so. This is your final chance. Plead not guilty. Your Honor, have you reached a conclusion, Mr. Wright? Defense will not change its plea. You will accept nothing short of complete acquittal. You. You have sealed your fate, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Detective! Y yes, sir. Present the final portion of your testimony. The final strike. Uh, y yes, sir. Now, see here. Proceedings are run by. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes, of course. Go ahead, detective, and give your testimony. I think the court would like to hear the other piece of incriminating evidence. Alright, let's see what this is about. Without a doubt, was not fighting back. She has actually been consistently calling him by his full name. That's pretty impressive. This is the costume. It's covered in blood. Without fighting back.
and lab results show us the victim's blood. Rabble, rabble, rabble. So, were there any other clues you could blame? Uh, well... If you must change the topic, then the good detective here must testify again. But too bad, not enough time, let's move on. Yeah. Press for it, dude. Oh, shoot, I just noticed. What is that? There is one little thing. Yeah, 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 what's this? What is that? The sleeve? How are they not fighting back if she got shot? He wasn't fighting back. How do you know she wasn't? Alright, I think I'm going to... Without a doubt. She's making us look stupid. We look dumb. Ooh. With the new information we acquired. Yeah, you mean by myself? <laughs> Poor gumshoe. What transpired? During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. Of course, the victim used the last of his strength to fight back, sir. While the two were fighting, the victim took out his gun. The victim took a shot, but because they were too close, he missed. The defendant had picked up the on the opening, took the victim's gun, and ended it. Hmm. 
On the, on the surface, it does seem to make sense, however, I won't give up that easily. Please refrain from glaring at me like that. Now then, your cross-examination, please. What transpired? During the channeling, the defendant saw her chance to stab the victim in the chest. There's quite a difference in height between Dr. Gray and the defendant. And in body strength, it seems unlikely that the defendant could have stabbed the victim. Now that you mention it, yeah, I guess. Get away with such flimsy reasoning, Mr. Phoenix, right? Maya Fay was in the middle of channeling, was she not? When channeling the crane channeling technique, the medium physically changes. With the nurse's bed, the defendant could have easily been a match for the doctor. I don't believe it, she even studied. She did her studying. Like I said before, I am perfect. I don't get it. But never mind, let's continue. <laughs> Where in the world did that pistol come from? It looks like the victim, Dr. Ray, has specifically brought it for that day. But a handgun? He found it off the black market about two days before the murder. Why did he bring a gun? Is he taking precautions? The victim took a shot, but they were too close, so he missed. So you're saying the bullet hole in this costume was made then? Sorry, pal, but yeah, that's what I think. Two of them were already fighting when the shot was fired. Oh, yeah, I'm really glad you weren't hurt. The defendant that picked up on the opening took the victim's gun and ended it. Maya's never fired a gun in her life. The victim had already taken off the safety. When the safety, when the safety's off, even an amateur like you can fire it just by pulling the trigger. For me, I wonder. Do you understand? A Ron Connor's logic is perfect. So somebody certainly makes us look very bad, but there's gotta be a contradiction in there somewhere. Let's, let's press this one. So he was stabbed, but the stab wound didn't kill him. If you think about the blood loss, he was probably hurt pretty bad. How badly would you say? Actually, I went to get blood the other day, and afterwards I felt lightheaded and dizzy. I guess the damage was maybe about 10 times the dizziness. Sorry. Ooh. But because they were too close, he missed. I don't know when this is gonna pop up. Okay. 
I guess they were too. They were close. Is, does it actually have gunpowder around it? But it doesn't have gunpowder on it. Just in case, because I, I I'm I'm genuinely at a loss for this one. I'm gonna save. Um I took out this gun. Missing the tiny hole on this costume will be the prosecution's undoing. What do you mean? This little hole actually has created a huge hole in your testimony. Explain yourself, is right? I said the two of them were fighting when the victim fired his gun at point blank. Is that true? Then where's the gunpowder burn? Yeah, this, that's what I was trying to go for. Gunpowder burn? This is what you testified earlier. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Oh! There's not a single trace of gunpowder burn on this costume. Rabble, 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 rabble. That's a very good point. What exactly does this mean? It means that when the shot was fired, they were standing apart from each other. I'm disappointed, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You think you could punch a hole in my logic with that? This witchy, washy thinking, like and like that, anyone could explain anything away. Then I implore you to disprove my line of thinking. Let's see. In the middle of the fight, the victim pushed the defendant away. And it was then, when they were separated, that he fired. How was that? As if that was even possible. According to the testimony, the wound was in the, the stabbing was very severe. The victim would not have had the strength to push the defendant very far if not. Then, then... That's right. The defendant must have pushed the victim away. Stabbing him, she must have, been, have put some space between the doctor and herself. And then while she was preparing to strike again, the doctor took a shot. There. That should satisfy even you. Even you. It doesn't make all the sense, what do you think? Let's be careful, I can't afford to make a mistake here. Something doesn't make sense. There's a fatal flaw in her argument. Fatal? I don't even know what it was, I'm just saying whatever I want to say. There has to be snag in her explanation. She put some distance between them before rushing to make the final blow, and when she was about to strike, the doctor took a shot. Must be a, a, a piece of this. This is the- oh, heck yeah, there we go. What is that, a folding screen? I would like to point the court's attention to the hole in the folding screen. Oh! It looks like you already know about what I'm talking about. Ooh, where? What? Mr. Wright, your explanation, please. Are, are you two really that clueless? The bullet went through the defendant's sleeve first, then the folding screen. It passed, though- it uh, passed through it height of approximately eight inches off the ground, which means when the shot was fired, Maya, I mean the defendant, was not getting ready to strike, but was actually squatting low to the ground. Th this changes everything. Please look at this diagram of the crime scene. The victim, Dr. Gray, was here when he fired the shot. 
and the bullet hit this folding screen. It hit at this location, about 8 inches off the ground. At this time, the defendant was in this area. Here? Behind the folding screen? Oh! The victim and his attacker were fighting, were they not? Then what, what would the attacker be doing all the way back there? Uh, besides which, if the attacker was behind the folding screen, then how could the victim even know where to shoot? It's obviously impossible. Yeah, I guess so. Mr. Wright! Oh, okay. Did I just really screw up? Okay, well, fine. If she wasn't behind there, then here? Wait a second, we know the defendant was close to the ground piece of the heights of the port hole. How could you gauge the distance from that? Is it possible that the defendant was standing much closer to the victim? That's impossible. But why? You of all people should know the answer to that question, Ms. Wong Karma. If she were shot somewhere closer, there would be gunpowder burns. However, there is nothing of the sort around the bullet hole of this costume. You, Mr. Phoenix, right? You? I believe it has now been proven that. The defendant was standing a ways from the victim when she was shot at. But do you think this has changed the defendant's situation? It has changed everything. Honestly, Your Honor, it changes everything. The prosecution has claimed that the defendant was aiming to kill by stabbing. If that were true, delivering the final strike with the knife would be ideal. However, where and what was the defendant doing at that time? Squatting all the way up by the folding screen? Exactly. And Maya Fei was a real murderer. Why would she be about the folding screen instead of preparing to strike? Upon further consideration, it does make very little sense. Yeah, I figured there had to be a reason. Because he doesn't want her to be a murderer. <laughs> Figuring things out and proving the logic behind everything is your job. Ugh. Alright, this the rest of the trial should be in the bed. Blast radius of disaster. You are such a smart man, Mr. Phoenix Wright. To think that you've been able to completely hopelessly a case to this point. Take a completely hopeless case to this point. Now I know why Papa had a tough time with you. Hmm. You amuse me. Ugh, of all the things I inherit, why did it have to be the smarmy smile? Detective. How dare you damage my perfect logic? Huh? How, how is it my fault? You could start repairing your standing by first removing that three-strand goatee. Oh, and rest assured your punishment will come later. Uh, p punishment? Well then, your honor, I think I had all I could take of this detective's face. I think it's time to call in the next witness. Next witness? That's gotta be Lada. Very well. The court will take five minute recess. After we, re we reconvene, we will hear from the next witness. To be continued. Hey, this is a perfect place to stop. Nice. Yes. And then I can eat. And you know what? Just in case, I'm gonna do two. Yay! So we got introduced to Von Karma. Very nice. That wasn't too bad. That was pretty like a straightforward start. But to be honest, like, okay, I played this game before, so I kind of remember who's guilty here and and why, but I don't remember how to get there. <laughs> Which is a good thing, too, because now I get to play it fresh, right? I I don't understand how we got to that point. Uh, I don't I don't I do not remember how it gets to that point. So. Her vocab, you foolish fool of a foolish nation of your foolish thoughts and 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 liberties thinking that you can foolishly dream about this foolish opinion of this 
foolish case that you're you're presenting with me. <laughs> I know. She's funny. I I like her. It took me a while to warm up to Von Karma. Francisca. Francisca Von Karma. I it took me a little bit to to warm up to her. But she is she's a fun one. Usually, I'm not really a fan of the whole entire child prodigy sort of trope. But she's alright. She's okay. I I think she's alright. <laughs> I, I have a lot of fun with her. So, yay! You know, we, we caught up. We got to where we, we were last at. Um, I hope it doesn't continue. Oh, it does. So next time we will start here, hopefully. Hopefully it saves. <laughs> uh, hopefully it saves and then and then we, we start from here and try to try to get that not guilty sentence for Maya here. Poor girly. Can't believe she got thrown in jail again. This is literally her second time being thrown in jail. And the first time was worse because she got blamed for her own sister's murder. That's awful. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go and try to finish my food. I'm I'm still very hungry. Um, what what is happening next week? Oh shoot. So next week. I don't think I'll be able to stream on either Friday or Saturday. So I might try to stream this on Thursday. And then I'll be gone that weekend because I will be at a Miku concert. Yay. That's going to be fun. So yeah, I will, I will probably stream this again on Thursday. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. This was fun. I I really want to get through it. I don't know what it is with the Ace Attorney games, but they are so comforting in a weird way. Hopefully it won't be a TV screen. It's absolutely going to be a TV screen. Um, I've already accepted the fact that it will be a TV screen, and that's... That's alright. <laughs> uh, at least... After all these years, I finally get to experience a Miku concert. I've always... I mean, I wasn't really a big Vocaloid fan. I still don't consider myself a big Vocaloid fan, but the thought... I remember when my friend, and same friend, was the one that invited us to go. She was describing the Miku concert that she had went to when we were in high school. And I remember thinking in my head... Man, even though I'm not a big Vocaloid fan, that sounds like a lot of fun. And one day, I would like to go. So, you know what? Feeling, fulfilling the dreams of my younger self, that, that's, that, that's the name of the game. So regardless of how it goes, it'll be a fun experience. I will try to make a good experience out of it, regardless. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. And I get to see some friends again. Okay, well, I'm gonna end it. Um, is there any body that I know who is streaming right now? Not really. Not really. Yeah, I'm okay. So I'm I'm just gonna go. Thank you guys for watching. I will see y'all next week. I'm glad that I'm starting to get into the rhythm of streaming again. Because the, the plan is at least once a week, but for sure in two weeks from now I plan to do a birthday stream. And I'm excited to show 
what I've been working so hard on for at least a month now, and I'm still in the works of it. There's some things in there that I don't think I'll be able to meet. If I manage to meet them, then cool. If I don't, then, well, we'll, we'll fi I'll figure it out. But lots of... I say lots of good, cool things, but honestly, it is literally just one thing and then me being really excited for it because I do I did way too much for it. <laughs> I did a lot for it. Um, and I hope it shows. So yeah, I'm 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 wanting to celebrate my birthday on stream again. Um it probably won't be the day of, but maybe the day before. Because honestly, I only asked for that week off, but we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about it later. So yeah, I, I want to get back into this week of streaming because not only that, but just because I miss it. I think it helps my neurons, my brain. It helps relax my brain, give me, give me nice wrinkles in a weird way. It also helps me like... It's a weird de-stressor. I'm not sure why. I've been feeling not that great in the head, so... Streaming has been kind of nice to do, um, so I'm less in my head, I guess. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.